everybody. I'm going to be showing you how to get all the easy catch a ride achievement and level 50 characters. First, you will need some type of decryptor. This is going to be the one I'm using. I will have it linked below. And if you want to use it, you can download it from there. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up Borderlands and get a brand new character created to demonstrate how this process is going to work and how to go through everything. Once you have your character created, you're going to go ahead and locate the file for the save. I'm going to walk you through that now. First, you're going to want to open up your files. Then you're going to want to open up your documents. Then you're going to open up My Games. Borderlands 4, saved, save games. The string of numbers, profiles, and then client. Those numbers are actually your Steam ID in this case. Once you have that open, you're going to want to go ahead and open your decryptor. In my case, it's a file on my desktop. You're then going to want to go ahead and get your Steam ID or Epic ID ready to be entered into your settings as you will need that as well. If you need help finding those, just look it up. They'll tell you where to find those IDs. Now, once you have that ready, you're going to want to go ahead and drag your save file from your Borderlands save over into the folder with your decryptor. Now you're going to open the decryptor, click on add files, click on the save file for your game, then click on open, and then click on convert. This will turn it into a YAML file for you. Okay, now that you have that new converted file, you're going to open it with some type of text editor, whether that's VS Code or Notepad, Notepad++, that's your choice. You then are going to want to change the player level at the top to the level 49, and then the points right below it to the specific number of 3,430,226. Once you have done that, you're then going to want to scroll through towards the bottom-ish for new characters, but depending on what level your character is, it'll be different. You're looking for a specific point called Point Pools. Once you get to the Point Pools, you're then going to change the character progress points to be 48. Once all these values are changed, you are good to close this file and save it. And then you can move on to the next step of getting it back into a save file. Here I changed the name of my character. This is just for me to know which character it is and which one to delete. You can leave this if you like, but if you change it, it'll change it in game. Now you're going to reopen your decryptor. You're going to then open up the LAML file that you just made. You're then going to convert it back into a save file. Here I'm deleting a save file I already had under the same name to stop issues. But if you have no files before then, it's fine. Then you're going to drag it back into your saved game file for Borderlands. Once that is done, you are all good to close everything and reopen Borderlands as you are completely done. The rest of the video is me showing the results of doing this process to explain in words so you don't have to watch it all. All you will do is you will join back on the save you just made. You will then get one kill or something to give you one level of XP as you will be sitting right on the threshold of leveling up to 50. This will allow you to get all of the digi runners 
and any related achievements to hitting level 50 on the characters that would be locked behind just setting that value to 50.